everybody welcome back and if you're new welcome my name is nikki this is my boy my butt bleh, my boyfriend I, aka bay i was pretty bae. sure that i don't know who i am now so we've already done this a part one where he rated my thrift store haul so if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below oh my god you're so cute Comment down below because then I can convince him to be on the channel more. Because that video became so popular, it's like, please, will you film another one with me? And he's like, okay, fine. So, so here we are. Today we're doing Fashion Nova, but I'm doing my own spin. This was actually his idea. So we're going to do Fashion Nova, but I'm also going to change my wigs as I change the outfits. That was a good idea. So... He doesn't really know what Fashion Nova is. Fashion Nova, no clue. think like Forever 21, but they slut it up a little bit more. Like it's on trend clothing that's affordable, but a lot of it, like 70%, I don't know. It's very sexy. They slut it up. So they, it's for like going out? It's like going out. Yeah. I mean, that's what I think. Sounds good to me. Um, they blew up really online <clears throat> Instagram, but they do have stores. We're in LA, so I actually went to the store. So let's do this. Take your blindfold off. Okay. That's true. It does depend on what Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. And friends, I didn't even realize the ruching goes all the way up, so you really shouldn't have this any This is what's called on. ruching? I don't know what the hell this is called. <laughs> Back in the... Oh, by the way, I have on my... I don't know, wig, my Lil' Kim wig with my pink glasses. The wig and the glasses are from Boohoo, but... And I then, mean, it's not that bad. It's maybe, I don't know. I mean, this is like fishnets. Back in the 80s, yeah, this was fishnets. fishnets. Yeah, fishnets, so... So... So this is... <laughs> okay, so I want to ask a question. It's odd because it's not that bad. It's like workout pants, but then they put fishnet on the well, side. Well, the thing is, like, biker shorts yeah. are in right now. Okay, so it's biker shorts. And then I just went all pink for some reason. So, all right. What do you, ooh, okay. So I want. So you want me to to make a comment about the clothing, not the wig? Every okay. Let's rate one to five. One being bad, five being good. What do you think of the whole thing together? Like the glasses, the wig, the outfit. I mean, if you're trying to do something and like get attention, you're gonna get attention. Good attention? Like, would you talk um, to me dressed like this? I don't know. If you were at the beach, maybe. <laughs> if you're at the library, it might With be a little weird. On? It might be a little weird. I mean, the, it might need a comb. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you, you might need to brush it out a little bit. <laughs> okay, so. Forget the wig, and you're just looking at the outfit, and I've got on my normal hair, and I'm like, hey, what are you saying? <laughs> well, it shows your, your body. It shows your shape, so, I mean, I, I kind of dig it. And the fishnet would definitely get my attention. By the way, he loves me and stuff like this. Anything form-fitting. Well, form this fitting. is not, that's not yeah. exactly right. All right. Uh, this, I like form-fitting. I like seeing your shape. This, however, is... <laughs> This isn't that bad. It's slotting it up a little too much even for you. It is, but here's one thing. <laughs> well, no. Here's something I don't understand. It's not really fitting very well here. Is that because Here's the you're... thing about Fashion Nova. They expect you to go braless and oh. a lot of stuff. And would that so, be better? I guess, because you're supposed to have a little boob cleavage down here. Oh, okay. okay I okay, always okay, wear okay. a bra. I sleep in a bra. I work out in a bra. That's I, true. That would not work for That's me. That's true. So... So you're this... not supposed to have any panties on, and right. you're also probably not supposed to wear a bra because you let your boob cleavage hang. Okay. I told you, they split it up a little bit. All right, well, that makes more sense. I just was wondering why it was, like, loose down here. All right, one to five, the outfit. It's okay. One to five. I one would... being it's a ratchet, hoochie, slut, stripper mess. <laughs> or okay. five, like, it's kind of sexy. What are you saying? One to five. Um, it's right in the middle. Three? I'm going to say it's 2.5. 2.5. 2.5. It's, yeah. And what I learned about, I don't want to flash you guys. What I learned about Fashion Nova is you can't get your money back. So you either get store credit or exchange. So, so they don't let you, they don't let you return it? Well, I can exchange it, oh, but okay. I can never just get my cash back. All right, next. Mm, okay. So fishnets, the last one you showed me, were on trend. Well, biker shorts are on trend. Like that outfit, if it was just all white, that's what's on style right now. You can find that a lot of places. But the fishnet and then the boob cleavage, that's just Fashion Nova being Fashion Nova. 
That's why I say it's like Forever 21, but they slid it up a little bit more. Hmm. Okay. Plan Are you ready? Yep. All right. I don't think I would ever wear this outside. Here we go. Well, that looks like underwear. This is also in style. Uh, not necessarily the green wig. I'm trying not to flash you guys, but these one piece cat suit things. So the cat suit thing always looks like long johns. Like, yeah, that's like what long they are. john underwear. You have some hair on your back. They always look like long john underwear. Now, would you, if, if you were going to take this to the full extent, would you wear high heels and yeah, walk around? Heels. But then you usually wear like a long sweater to cover your butt. And in this kind of thing, I would never wear this outfit. I know you wouldn't, but what are they wanting you to do? You do, do they want you, you to want. wear a g-string, no underwear, yeah, no bra? Whatever. Yeah, people do it all. Hmm. People do it all. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's that bad. It just seems like it's underwear. It's not bad, but as an outfit, if you saw me on the street wearing this with heels, what are you, what are you thinking? Well, with heels, I mean, I would say yeah, okay, because heels they make everything kind of set up. Alright, so one to five. It just looks like underwear to me. <laughs> it looks like you're going skiing and you haven't okay, put on your ski pants. If you saw me in this outfit on the street. Uh, it's just not doing a lot for me. Alright, and the green wig. Alright, so what are you rating everything? The green wig's not working for these, me. <laughs> these wigs are busted, Fred. These are like <laughs> my super cheap synthetic Amazon wigs. Where do they come I from? I know that. You don't have to tell me in the comments. But I'll leave a link to them down below. Just in case you like them. All right. Some people so in the audience will like them. The whole ensemble. One of your friends will like them. What do you think? Uh, as is, without heels and without your face done like to match the colors, it's not really working that great. One to five. Wow, two point five. Okay, same as the last one. Yeah, All same right. as last. I it's have not makeup on. What do you mean? If I did. I have makeup on. I know, but you have makeup on that's like a red cast, pink cast, and that's not really working for this. No lipstick. All right, so with, so without the wig, with heels and stuff. I'm if not... you if your hair was black or curly, I think it would look a lot better. What number would you give it? Just the outfit. two point five. Two point five, even with a black wig. Yeah, because it's not really working that well for me. That's right. my opinion. It's not what everyone would think, but to me, it's. It looks like you have underwear on. It's very comfortable. Now this I would sleep in. It's very comfy. It looks I like would, a onesie. I would never wear this outside. That's exactly what it is. But if you have to go to the restroom, you have to pull the whole thing loose. Yep. Okay. You ready? Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay. You ready now? Yep. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this is good. It's a cocktail dress. I don't know about a cocktail dress. This is a party dress. Yeah, it's a party dress. It's not cocktail as in like a fancy cocktail dress, but this is a party dress. They, you see this in Hollywood all the time. I wanted to put on a gray wig, but I realized it was brand new and I hadn't cut the lacing off. So I, this is the wig I started with. Yeah, I knew you would like this. This looks like, this is not like a comment plus or minus, but it looks like all the girls wear it at the clubs. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the short, short, form-fitting, spaghetti strap thing that sometimes they're in like bright colors, sometimes sequins, sometimes just colors like that. Definitely, this looks just like that. This is that type but of dress. But I think you could wear that out walking around. Whoa, walking around. Walking. Yeah, no, if you were like really being uh, bold, you could put on like really white sneakers, oh, white yeah. sunglasses, yeah. right? And you I could guess. just walk around like Melrose. I'm you could walk a around. I'm too thick for that. I think. I think for me. For you. For me. But I'm just saying I've seen people do that because yeah. from here up it's just a camisole T-shirt, right? Yeah. Don't show your armpits. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did forget to shave. Sorry, friends. Real yeah. life. All right, I've Sorry. got stretch marks. I forget to shave my. Don't face. do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I have to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> All right. From here down, it's a tight skirt. So put okay. them to see from here up, just a tank top. Well, camisole tank top. From here down, tight skirt. All right, all right. What do you? You see what I'm saying? The whole ensemble. It's not that bad if you put white sneaks on. Or heels. What are you giving it one? To well, five? sure, with heels, it's great. Uh, definitely four and a half. Nice. Yeah. I thought you'd like this one. Because this one's much more, this one's much more oh, attractive to yeah, me. Yeah. And it also doesn't have weird details like fishnets or... This is 
the exact type of stuff he likes. Doesn't look like underwear. Something form fitting, yeah. but still kind of covered up yeah. and classy, but something that shows my shape. Anything that's loose fitting, this guy does not like it. Well, it's not exactly that. I just prefer this. Okay. I prefer this. All right, so 4.5. Yeah, four point five. Hey, it makes my butt look great. You cannot wear underwear yes. with this. I have on thongs and it's just totally visible. Like this is a commando type of situation and I've got a half bra on. I'll leave a link to it down below. It's my favorite half bra from Victoria's Secret. Sorry about the armpits. All right, friends. So if you enjoyed that, please give this a thumbs up, share it with your friends, spread it because that's the only way I can really convince him to keep coming back on the channel. Uh, for years, he would not come on my channel. If you look at like the first two years of my channel, he's not there at all. So I was finally able to convince him to come on. So give this a thumbs up, share it. Hopefully a lot of people like it. And then I can convince him to come on more and more. I'm whispering because he's in his office over there. Anyways. <laughs> Let's jump in to product reviews. I don't have many. Did you guys know Victoria's Secret is having their semi-annual sale? This is my small, very small haul. Haha, uh -huh, small haul, that rhymes. I did a huge order online. I'm waiting for it to come in because your girl desperately needed some bras. Oh my God. I am trying not to flash my armpits. I didn't even realize I didn't shave until he said that. Such a mess. I always have something that's going weird with me when I film either like I have a booger in my nose My wig is crooked. I forgot to shave my armpits. My stretch marks are showing that is life with Nikki so um, in the store I picked up The lotions the body lotions because I had the package shipped to my P.O. box And I guess I had like perfume and lotions in my cart and they said they can't ship that to P.O. boxes So I picked up some lotions. This is all I picked up in the store my big order If you guys want to see a haul of everything I got let me know in the comments down below I think I spent like it's a big order. It's coming this week. If you want to see that let me know I don't think I've ever done a Victoria's Secrets haul on my channel. So first up, I got Coral Sky. These were on sale. I don't remember. They were affordable though. Oh, if they're doing this new thing. Back in the day, they didn't used to seal their lotions, but now they're sealed so you can't smell them. Um, but I did smell the tester in the store. I got coconut sunshine on the island. This smells very light, refreshing, with a light hint of coconut. I love it. And then sun blist. It's been years since I've purchased these, and they have all these new scents. They smell really nice. So now's the perfect time to check it out if you want to try it. If you want to see a full Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale haul, let me know in the comments down below because my order is huge. Something else that I've been loving... <laughs> As you can tell, I have two. The Clarisonic, I have the Clarisonic Mia one. Um, I have in purple, which is my favorite color. And then I also have a white one. Uh oh, the brush head dropped out. I use this for many things. I use this to take my makeup off at night. Um, I'll wash my face. What I do is I take my makeup off, then I wash my face and I use this and it just gets everything off of my face. Do you hear that? I feel like you guys all know what Clarisonic is. Let me know in the comments down below if you own one, if you use it. I tell you guys this all the time, but where I go to get my facials and my chemical peels, they actually use these on every client. It's just really good at cleaning my skin. And then I also use the foundation brush head um, to put my foundation on. I did a full review video on that. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link down below. I really liked it a lot. Um, I've been using this for years. I love them. Oh, I have some makeup here. Get off of my beautiful Clarisonic. I love the purple one because it's my favorite color, but I use it to put on foundation. I use it to clean my face. If you guys want to see like a skincare routine, I did a skincare, I just cracked my knuckles. That was such a bad habit. I need to stop doing that. Um, I just did, I did a skincare routine video like a couple months ago, but I, I feel like I didn't go as in depth as I should have. So if you guys want to see a skincare routine video and I can show you how I use this, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, Clarisonic was nice and Enough to send me the acne brush head. I actually already own this. I've been using it for at least a year. I like to use this on days where I have a lot of makeup on and I want to get everything off my face and really do a deep cleanse. So the way it works is you just pop this brush head on here, use it, and you can pop your foundation brush head on. The brush heads do need to be replaced, I believe, every three months. So that's something to keep in mind. They do need to be replaced, but I love it. I just love it. If, and for, especially for someone who wears as much makeup as I do, I feel like my hands just aren't enough. So I like to use this to really deep cleanse my face. Next up, you guys know I struggle to say this name. 
Sulwasu. It's S-U-L-W-H-A-S-O-O. -O. I told you guys I would update you. This is the first care activating serum. I've been using this for five, four days now. I really like this. I put it on and my skin immediately just feels tighter and I love the packaging. The, the box is like not normal paper. It feels really soft. I don't know why I love the box so much, but the bottle is sturdy. Like this just feels like very quality packaging. Big top and then you pump it out. Let me show you. I don't wanna waste it, so I'm not gonna put too much, but it's just a clear liquid that's it's very, very lightweight. Almost as soon as you rub it into the skin, it soaks into the skin. It has a very light, fresh scent. And I don't know, as soon as I put it on my skin, my skin starts to feel like it's firming up. It's crazy. I see why this is like one of Korea's like most popular serums. At least that's what they say. I don't know if that's true. I've never been to Korea, but that's what they say. You know, K-beauty's all the rage right now. So I've been liking this. I told you guys, I'll keep updating you. So far, so good. Something else I've been loving, I did a full review video on this. If you haven't seen it, I will try to remember to leave a link down below. This is the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. I love this. This is the shade Blackberry. I'll show you clips of me applying it. It gives you a beautiful, nice wash of color. It smells like candy. But then Clarins also released this new product, which is their Water Lip Stain. And my favorite is the shade 03 Rose Water, and I'll show you. Well, what I do is I put on the lip stain first and you can totally wear the lip stain alone and then I go in with the light lip comfort oil because the lip stain is matte the lip comfort oil is glossy and I prefer glossy but I like the, the color of this and this is so interesting it's very wet but as soon as you apply it it dries down matte but it's not super dry like where it dries out your lips because I have very dry lips I can't do matte lips I really like these. You can use them together, separate. I love them. Um, the lip comfort oils are like, I think they're one of Clarins' most favorite products. You go look at the link and you check out the Sephora reviews. People love them. So that is it for me. Hope oh, there's something else I shared on my Instagram stories. I can't actually show you the food because I ate it. This is from Emmy's Organics. This is or their organic coconut cookies vanilla bean you guys i was just strolling through cvs my local drugstore and i was looking for something that was gluten free if you don't know i have a lot of food allergies gluten dairy i can't eat a lot of stuff and i just working working out i had just worked out and i was looking for a snack and i was like there's not going to be anything in cvs i can eat but then i saw this the cvs in santa monica has like a whole gluten free section that's one thing i love about living in los angeles like there's so many different options for people to eat with different, if you're vegan, if you're vegetarian, if you're pescatarian, if you're gluten free, like there's restaurants and like grocery stores cater to all that stuff here. Um, so these are vegan, they're organic and they're gluten free and they basically look like little macaroons and they are so good. If I can find them online, I'll leave a link to them down below. Even if you don't have these food allergies, I think you would enjoy these. They were so good. Like one of the best vegan treats, because vegan treats have the uh, reputation for being kind of dry because they don't have any butter, they don't have any milk. These did not taste vegan at all. They're so good. All right, that's it for me. If you enjoyed, give this a thumbs up, share it. You guys know you can share videos down below. There's like little buttons that says Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. If you share it, that helps me because then YouTube sees that people are sharing the video, so they're more likely to recommend it to other people. So if you wanna share this with anybody, that would be great because I wanna to try to get my boyfriend more on the channel because he's just funny. He cracks me up. So, and I think you guys like the videos with him. So that's it for me. Don't forget to check out the videos on the screen. Subscribe, give this a thumbs up if you haven't already, and I will see you soon.